One of the first big decisions that you'll have to make as a contractor is whether to operate as a limited company or under a PAYE umbrella company. There are pros and cons to both, which will be best for you depends entirely on your experience, the length of time you intend on contracting for, the amount of time you have available for paperwork, and a few other things. On one hand, a limited company will leave you better off financially, but it does take a little more management. Typically, contractors on £120 per day can save over £4,000 a year by working through their own limited company. While an umbrella company gives you some of the comforts of having an employer, but overall, you will pay more tax. So what is a limited company? It's a business structure that offers you, the shareholder, and directors of the company many advantages. And that's because your personal finances are kept separate from the company's. Personal liability is limited and that means you're protected if anything happens to the company. And if you do decide to go down this route, the first thing you need to do is form a limited company and then open a business bank account. You, the director, controls invoicing, the company bank account, and decides on how much to pay yourself, which is made up of a combination of salary and dividends. And a limited company's contract can be with either the end client or an agency, and the company can claim tax-free expenses, travel subsistence, hardware, software, training, business telephone, mobiles, uh, accountants fees, and, and quite a lot of other business costs. While a PayYE umbrella company, this is where you, the contractor, essentially becomes an employee of the umbrella company. You submit timesheets to the umbrella, who will in turn invoice the end client. You in turn will be paid as a PAYE employee of the umbrella company, less the fee that the umbrella company charges. And the expenses you can claim back are usually pretty basic. Now we've looked very briefly at them, I'll go a little bit more into the pros and cons. There are many pros and cons for both models. So the advantages of limited company contracting. Having a limited company portrays a professional image. And by virtue of having a limited company, you can run your own business and have full control over your finances. You can claim back on a wider range of expenses, and that means it's a good opportunity for tax planning. Importantly, having your own limited company also means you can access the flat rate VAT scheme, which is something you should speak to your accountant about. And honestly, running your own business as a consultant isn't that difficult, as long as you're organized and keeping your accounts up to date. And possibly one of the biggest things for most people is that limited company directors take home an average of 80% of their contract rate. So limited company sounds pretty good, but there are our benefits of working through a PAYE umbrella company. If you're not good at being organized and staying on top of things, then there's less administration. The umbrella company handles all this. The invoicing, paying salary, NI contributions, getting your taxes paid. This means you are not responsible for actually paying these taxes and the umbrella company assumes that responsibility. You also receive some of the same benefits as someone who is permanently employed. All you have to do to get paid is to submit timesheets and only when your umbrella company processes payments do you pay for the service. And what this means is that umbrella companies are ideal for short-term contracts and great for contractors that are earning less than 25k a year. Where they work really well is for people who are unsure about contracting long-term and if it's just really a stopgap between permanent jobs. So in order to decide which option you should be looking at, you need to look at the disadvantages as well and they're plentiful for both options to be honest. If you're a director of a limited company, you need to take care of any administration that's involved and that can be quite time consuming if you're not organized. You need to spend a significant amount of time doing your accounts or appoint an accountant to do this for you. If you're contracting for a short period of time and decide to go back to permanent employment, it could be quite costly to shut down a limited company. Depending on what type of contract you are as well, you might need to think about the fact that Anyone, including your competitors, will be able to see your annual accounts and other information that you need to file to company's house. This is public record. Some of the disadvantages of working through an umbrella company include you have to rely on the umbrella company to process and invoice correctly and on time. If you're planning on, on contracting long term, it's difficult to build on because at the end of the day, you're an essentially an employee of the umbrella company. And if you earn revenue outside of IR35, there will be a higher tax burden than when using a limited company, which brings us to the major downside for most people. And that is, because you are treated as an employee of the umbrella company, your salary will be subject to full PAYE tax and national insurance. Your take home will be about 65% of your contracting rate. Now, which option you ultimately choose is down to you. 
but when you do make that choice you need to be informed and hopefully the guidance I've given you just now will help you make that decision but I do recommend going out and doing some more research.